Hi there, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today's commander, Vanifar Evolved Enigma. Two green and blue for a 3-4. And we've still got the Elf Ooze Wizard creature type, which is a bit strange, but anyhow. Anyway, at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose one. Cloak a card from your hand, so basically you put any card in your hand face down, you can turn it up any time for its mana cost. Um, bit of an issue if it's a... Um, non-creature card because you can't do anything with it but hey you may do that or you can put a plus one plus one counter on each colorless creature you control so vanivar really does take advantage of all the old mechanics like morph manifest mega morph and a creature type we don't see very often in commander land and that is the eldrazi with devoid because technically devoid means they're colorless so if my mem if my memory serves correctly and my knowledge of the rules is right Colors creatures will all get plus one plus one counters. So here we go. This is what we're looking at today. As usual, start with the land base. Um, blue and green lands all the way through and a whole load of snow covered and snow covered islands purely because I figured, well, since we're playing this, we might as well play Faceless Haven because, you know, might as well do that. Um, the other thing I will point out, as well as Radiqui Tower and the usual. Uh, Temple of the False God, because we are looking at putting creatures face down and that can be colourless, I'm playing the mine, the power plant and the tower just for a bit of a change. Um, I haven't really got any way to search them out. I'm sure I could find a way if I bothered to do it, but I decided not to. Artifact ramp wise, um, Mox Tantalite, Soul Talisman, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, um, not a lot more than that needed because we are playing a green deck after all. And this is what we are playing in it. So, the first of our Devoid creatures, Prophet of Distortion. Um, Devoid, this card has no colour. There you go. Colourless creatures get plus one, plus one counter. Nice. The reason is, playing some of these with the coloured blue... I'm, playing only, I'm only playing the ones with the blue and green symbols, and there are some that you can just have um, completely colourless mana and do it that way. Um, I didn't really... A, I didn't bother, and B, yeah... I probably forgot about them until I've just started talking about it. But hey, I'm doing mine this way. You can do yours your way. So, P Profit Distortion. Um, a 1-2 Eldrazi drone that lets you pay four mana eventually to draw a card. Um, salvage drone. Ingest. Um, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles the top card of their library. Um, and when this dies, you draw a card and you loot, basically. So, bear that might. Vista Pod. Um, when it dies, you get a 1 1 Eldrazi Sinion that lets you sacrifice it for um, mana, but you know, it can become a 2 2. And Soul Ring we've mentioned. Obscuring Ether. This does need mentioning while I'm thinking about it. Um, face down creature spells you cast cost one less to cast, so that is everything. Um, obviously, we're cloaking them with Vanifar, but all our morphs and our manifest cards that we may cast cost one less to do, so nice from that point of view. Cyclonic Rift gives a bit of ball control. Mist Intrude as the next ingest and devoid flying creature. So, yep. Um, the Quasari Deceiver is a Naga Wizard and you can put it taps for a colorless mana. And you can spend this mana only to cast a face down creature spell, pay a mana cost to turn a manifested creature face up, or pay a morph cost. Um, so, yeah, just ramps up what you can do and how quickly you can get your things face down. Reality Shift gets out, gets the annoying creatures the opponents may be playing out of the way. Um, Flourishing Boom, Bloomkind is one of the new ones that comes in from Murders of Karloff, uh, Murders at Karloff Manor. Um, this has Disguise, which is another version of Morph, but just with a ward, as we all know. Um, when you turn this one face up, you may search for two forest cards, reveal them, put one in the hand, and one into battlefield tapped. So, yep, go with that. Nature's Law and three visits go and get us our ramp on nervous gardener when we turn it face up we go and get a land uh, land card with basic land type reveal it and put it into your hand okay cope with that um print lifter ooze is one of the cards that i've listed out of the commander set for murders at karloff manor um whenever this or another creature you control is turned face up you get a zero zero green ooze token with trample the token enters the battle with x plus one plus one counts or x the number of the creatures you control Nice little card. Maybe it's one of the things we want to be protecting with um, this or this. Yeah. Um, anyway, Stalker Drone, the next Devoid card. We can pay a colorless mana and give it plus one, plus two until the end of turn. Uh, we can only activate it once each turn, though. Ice Feather Avon comes in from Karns of Tarkir. Yeah, there we go. Uh, when it's turned face up, we may turn target creature 
to its owner's hand. Swift foot boots, I've mentioned, just as a way of protecting Vanifar along with the Whisper Silk cloak. Um, decided to play the cloak for a bit of a change more than anything else. Better thick infiltrator can't be blocked. It's devoid. It has ingest, and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger the longer Vanifar's in play. Cultivator drone. Um, add. It's a 2-3 that lets you add mana, but spend this mana only to cast a colorless spell, activate an ability of a colorless permanent, or pay a cost that contains uh. Um, Yeah, so hey hum. A little bit more ramping. Runation guide. Ingest other colorless creatures. This is an important one. Get plus one, plus zero. So all of your creatures that you have coming into play, either via cloaking or via the new disguise mechanic through morph, they are technically colorless. Therefore, they should get the plus one, plus zero. Um, Silimgur Spell Eater. Naga Wizard. It's just a little bit of counter spell control if we need it. It's kind of expensive to turn up though so hmm, we may not do it but i think it was worth having it in here just in case right into being from fate restored i think it's fate restored reforged there you go um look at the top two cards of your library manifest one of those cards and put the other card on the bottom so yeah another way of getting a manifest creature into play cultivate kadoma's reach go and get some of our snow covered forests and islands Filigree Familiar, colourless creature, gets a, gains us two life when we come into play, gets the card when it dies, the cloak I've mentioned. Gravity Negator, um, flying in the void, and whenever this attacks you may pay a colourless, and it has to be that colourless symbol, so you know, the things like off Faceless Haven over here, um, and anything else, Reliquary Tower for example. Um, if you do another target creature, gains flying until the end of the turn, which could be fun. Um, Experiment 12 is one of the commander from uh, Murders of Karloff mana cards. Um, whenever this or another creature you control is turned face up, put plus one, plus one counters on that creature equal to its power. So, yeah, this could become an 8 8 for mm, significant mana investment, but it could still become an 8 8. Um, formless Nurturing, manifest top card in your library, then get plus one, plus one on it. Hope it's a creature. Green Belt Radical. Also comes in from Murders of Karloff Manor. Um, it's turned face up, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. And creatures you control gain trample until the end of turn. Yeah. Make sure you do get this one down and get it flipped as soon as possible. Salt Road Ambushes from the Khan series. Uh, whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, if it's a creature, put two plus one, plus one counters on it. Um, yep. And this mega morphs into it, so this becomes a six, six for five mana. That's cool. Solemn Sim, just a colourless creature that helps us ramp. And Ugin's Mastery, this has been around for a while now. Um, because it's been reprinted, the price on MTGO has come down. So, whenever you cast a colourless creature spell, manifest the top card of your library. Okay. And whenever you attack with creatures with total power 6 or greater, you may turn a face-down creature, face creature you control face up. Really, really helpful colourless enchantment. Um, I think I've picked mine up from Commander Masters, but like I say, it's come down in price a lot, so might be something you want to pick up if you haven't got it already and you want to play something like this. Oracle of Dust, another one of the Devoid cards. Pay two per card and opponent controls from exile as that player's graveyard. Draw a card and discard a card, so it gives you something to do with all the things you're ingesting. Vesuvian Shapeshifter. Um, you may choose any creature on the battlefield and morph it, basically. Um, you want to play its face down, play its morph cost, copy the biggest thing or the biggest threat, you know, commander, anything at all, just copy it. Hystrodon um, comes in when it deals combat damage to play, you can draw a card. So 3 4 with trample. Vengeful Creeper comes in for Murder's Land and it's got disguise. When it turns face up, you get to blow up an artifact or enchantment. Um, Convert Ambusher also comes in from the Murders of Karloff Manor. Ends the battlefield with his turn faced up. Target creature blocks his turn as able. You'll see this card again probably next week. Um, Pine Walker, just a traditional one from Karns. Um, when it's turned faced up or another creature you control is turned faced up, untap that creature. Nice if you're doing a full on swing attack, you flip him up and then this gets to get untapped. So you've got your blocker still in place. Whisperwood Elemental, I just put in for a bit of fun. Doesn't have anything itself. But, um, yeah, at the beginning of your end step, manifest top card of your library, fine. And then you can sacrifice the Whisperwood Elemental until the end of turn. Face up non-token creatures you control game. When this creature dies, manifest the top card of your library. So if someone wrathed, it's a great thing to sacrifice to make sure you've still got a whole load of creatures in play. Um, Ethereal Ambush, you can just manifest top two cards of your library for five mana. Uh, a 
and I had to play a couple of the dragons. So Bell Toll Dragons here with the Mega Morph, and so is Herd Chaser Dragon. Um, they're just here for a little bit of fun and games. You know, this one's Hexproof. This one has Flying and Trample. Yeah, I just like having an occasional dragon in the deck. Probably can be with Move for something better, but hey, like a couple of the traditional Morph cards in. Well, what I consider to be a traditional anyway. Going back to Legions now, or Scourge. Um, Root Elemental, turn face up. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Gets you around some of the casting costs, some of the big stuff we've got coming up. Um, two more War Shaman enters the battlefield, manifest top card of your library. Whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, if it's a creature, it gets to fight something else. Can be useful. Sagu Mauler does the whole 6 6 trample and hexproof, which is great. Either hard cast or for its morph cast, your choice. Undercover Crocodile. Um, gets a little bit of investigation going on. Um, we're seeing a bit more of it. It's one of the more popular draft cards at the moment. Yes, it's only common, um, but it's very popular in the draft. Can't imagine why. Well, I can. I've lost to it enough now. Anyway, um, Triskelion is here just because we're going to put plus one, plus one counters on colourless creatures. Um, and, you know, gives you a little bit of pink, colourless ping value. And Ugin the Ineffable. Colourless spells you cast cost two less to cast. So it does drop your card cost of all your devoid creatures that cost three or more down a little bit not sure it does with the morph creatures not 100 percent sure but hey i'll find out when i play test it um but it's still at the end of the day it's ugin and it gives you a bit of removal which is something we're lacking in this deck um birthing hulk just gives us some eldrazi sinians we can sacrifice for colorless mana but again you know colorless creatures get bigger and this is still devoid Arishin War Beast deals combat damage with one or more blocking creatures. Manifest top card of your library. Okay. Um, and I've tried these out from Brothers War. Unclaw Crusher, I think it still classes as an artifact, especially if we can manifest it. So that's quite nice. Along with the Hulking Metamorph that lets you copy an artifact or creature um, you control. So that's pretty cool. Crozen Colossus, just because I had to go old school and get some of the Onslaught stuff in, just for the laugh factor, it's a 9-9. Nine, nine. Uh, not quite as good as this one. Uh, this one's from the Time Spiral Time Shifter thing, but yeah. Flipping this face up as you're attacking and it's unblocked, gives your opponents stuff and nightmares getting hit for 13. Yes, you then have to pay two each turn for it, but hey, we'll cope with that. The last few cards are very similar. Walking Ballista, just so we can get more plus one, plus one counters and shoot things. Um... Oh, Omathris, the Ghostfire Initiate, came from Commander Masters, if I remember correctly. Um, comes in with a whole load of X plus one plus one counters on it. And whenever you put a plus one plus one counters on other colours creatures you control, you may put one on here. And when it dies, you manifest the number of cards from the top of your library equals the number of counters on it. Another way of getting all those manifest creatures in play, which is really cool. Um, Hooded Hydra's here, just so we can get some snakes if we need to. Wild Core just manifests, you know, X cupped cards of our library. And then we get to put X plus one plus one counters on it. So, you know, one card, three mana gives you manifest the top card. There's a three, three, four, 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 five, 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 and so on and so forth, depending how much you put into X. And then Hurricane. Now, you're probably wondering what Hurricane's doing here. I have been playing a lot of blue-green decks recently, not just this one. I've gone back in time and been playing my Lonus decks and so the rest of it. I get my opponents close. I'm usually head on life against all of the table, and then I just can't finish the game. Hurricane, because of his inbuilt ability and no one expects it, um, gives me that built-in, let's just blow the board up and kill everyone. And yeah, with the amount of flies that are dig, dig, um, hanging around at the moment with the vampires and so on and so forth, I'm really pleased I'm playing Hurricane at the moment, so I've decided to try it out here. You may disagree, but it does give you kind of way of finishing the game off as long as you're ahead on life. So be careful. No real way to gain life in this deck, so you need to make sure you're ahead before you cast this. Um, that's it for this deck. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's going to be interesting. I think Vanifar may even be even better if you just go down the whole artifact creature route and do it that way. Just so you can really abuse the plus one, plus one counter on each colour's creature. I'm probably going to come back to Vanifar at some stage and look at that. Because um, if you notice in the deck, there's nothing like hardened scales in here. There's nothing that increases the number of plus one, plus one counters. So it probably is worth looking at. I've just looked at it from a bit of fun with the old Mega Morph Morph side. So Vanifar will probably get looked at again sometime in the future. 
But for now, if you want to see me play it, come and hit the subscribe button, go and follow me on Twitch, subscribe to YouTube down here, you get to see the rest of the deck techs. Um, the link, the deck list is down below if you want to go and jump on that. Um, MTG Goldfish, not sponsored, but I use their website because it's the easiest one for my old brain to comprehend doing deck lists on. So that's it for now. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Leave me a comment and um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Take care. Bye.